If you've been thinking about buying or selling a home within the last year, you probably already know that the real estate market has taken a turn. So today we're going to look at four specific strategies that will help you to set your home apart from the competition and get the best possible price for your home. Hey everybody, my name is Tony Knott. I'm a realtor here in the San Francisco Bay Area. Whether you're visiting this channel for the first time or you're a regular subscriber, I wanna thank you for stopping by. And if you're interested in learning everything there is to know about living in San Francisco, make sure to hit that subscribe button and tap the little bell so you get notified every time we come out with a new video. We get so many people who reach out to us who are looking to buy or sell in San Francisco and I absolutely love it. My goal is to be a great resource and provide value to anyone who has questions about buying, selling, and living here in the Bay Area. So if you're moving or relocating anywhere here in the San Francisco Bay Area and have questions about how to get into your next home, give me a call or shoot me a text or email and I'll make sure my team and I take care of you throughout the entire process. Okay, let's get into the video. After years of a red hot real estate market, many homeowners are now finding themselves in the position of having to sell their homes in a buyer's market. While a more balanced market is actually good news for buyers who have been priced out of the market for years, it can be a real challenge for people who need to sell their homes right now. So today we're going to look at four specific strategies that will help you to set your home apart from the competition and get a sale for the best price possible. So if you've been thinking of buying or selling a home within the last year, you probably already know that the real estate market has taken a turn about last summer. When a market shifts from a seller's market to a buyer's market, it really requires a different approach to pricing, marketing, and negotiating the sale of your property. Even though some markets are still seeing some significant demand, the overall trend is homes are taking longer to sell, and when they do, they're selling for less right now. The days of pricing your home at the high end of the market and getting multiple offers overnight, those are frankly gone, at least for right now. Typically, listings stay on the market longer with more price reductions. You bake into that the current recessionary fears and more buyers sitting on the sidelines or priced out of the market entirely because of higher interest rates and affordability concerns, and it can be a real challenge to get your home sold. Okay, so what can sellers do to get their home to stand out and get the price that they're looking for in today's market. There's actually a few key strategies that you can implement that can actually make a big difference. Okay, so strategy number one, price your home correctly. In a buyer's market, overpricing your home is a surefire way to keep it from selling. With more homes on the market and fewer buyers looking, you'll need to be competitively priced in order to get buyers interested. In a seller's market, owners could get away with pricing their homes higher without much worry that it would sit on the market for very long. It wasn't uncommon for homes to sell for over the asking price, sometimes at jaw-dropping prices. But in a buyer's market, those same homes will languish on the market until the sellers are finally forced to lower the prices to meet the current market conditions. Overpricing your home now will likely result in fewer showings and ultimately more price reductions. It's really important to remember that just because you may have paid a certain price for your home or you put a lot of money into renovations it doesn't mean that's what your home is currently worth in today's market you'll need to factor in current market conditions as well as prices that similar homes in your area have recently sold for this can be a tough pill to swallow for many homeowners but it's important to be realistic if you want to sell your home quickly and for the best possible price so work with your real estate agent to find comparable homes that have recently sold in your area and use those prices as a guide for when you're setting the price for your your home. It's also important to remember that buyers are often looking for homes that are priced below market value. So pricing your home at or just below fair market value is often the sweet spot. Okay, so strategy number two to selling your home in a buyer's market, clean and depersonalize your home. So another important strategy for selling your home in a buyer's market is to make sure it's clean and depersonalized. What that means is in order to appeal to the greatest number of buyers, your home should be free of clutter with a neutral palette that allows buyers to really envision themselves living there. This can be a real challenge for many homeowners as it can be difficult to detach emotionally from your home and see it through the eyes of a buyer. I'll give you a perfect example. There was a listing I had in San Francisco years ago. The owner of the property was a musician and his girlfriend was an artist. Their home was a perfect reflection of their creative personalities with colorful murals on the walls and an eclectic mix of furniture and musical instruments everywhere. Unfortunately, their unique taste also made it very difficult for other buyers to envision themselves living there. We ended up staging the home with more neutral furnishings and paint in order to appeal to a wider range of buyers and ultimately sold the property for over the asking price. So if you're having trouble seeing your home objectively, it may be helpful to hire a professional stager. A professional stager 
can arrange your furniture in a way that makes your home feel more spacious and inviting. They can also offer suggestions for depersonalizing your space, such as removing family photos and personal mementos. All right, strategy number three for getting your home sold in a buyer's market is to make needed repairs. So another key strategy here in getting your home sold in a buyer's market is to make any necessary repairs before putting your home on the market. In a seller's market, many homeowners could get away with leaving minor repairs undone as buyers were often willing to overlook them in order to get their hands on the property. In fact, in this most recent seller's market, many homes were selling as is with no repairs being made at all. In fact, it wasn't uncommon for many buyers to not even include an inspection contingency in an effort to make their offers more attractive. However, in a buyer's market, which we're in now, buyers often are more choosy and have more negotiating power. And with more competition in the form of more homes on the market, buyers can be more particular about the condition of a home. This means that sellers should do everything that they can to make their homes as appealing as possible. So this includes making any needed repairs, such as fixing leaky faucets, addressing electrical or HVAC issues, and repairing any damage to the home's exterior, like a worn out roof, for example. So if you're selling your home right now, in the beginning of 2023, any repair that needs to be made should be done before putting your home on the market. If you're thinking otherwise, you're simply putting your home at a competitive disadvantage. Buyers will likely be looking for any reason to lowball their offer and even small repairs can be used as leverage. Okay, so here's strategy number four for getting your home sold in a buyer's market. Okay, so strategy number four for getting your home sold in a buyer's market is to offer buyers a rate buy down. If you're really looking to sweeten the pot, you can offer buyers a rate buy down. Offering a rate buy down is an especially attractive selling point in today's market. And frankly, it's a strategy that is not being utilized enough. This is especially true with the surge in interest rates that happened in 2022. So by offering a rate buy down, you're essentially locking in a lower interest rate for the buyer, which can save them hundreds or even thousands of dollars over the life of their loan. So let me give you a quick example. Let's say your home is listed for $400,000. It's been on the market for 30 days with some showings, but no offers. A typical response to this by many agents and sellers would be to simply reduce the price by say $10,000 to $390,000. The reality of this, however, is that a $10,000 price reduction is not really gonna make that much of a difference to buyers in terms of their monthly payments. In fact, it would only result in about a savings of about $50 per month. However, in the same scenario, if a seller were to offer a 1% rate buy down, the buyer would be saving approximately $240 per month on their monthly payment. So to put this in perspective, to accomplish the same result as a price adjustment, the seller would have to reduce their price by approximately $42,000 to provide the same monthly savings to the buyer. So in this case, it simply makes more sense for a seller to offer the rate buy down as they won't have to reduce the sale price so dramatically, yet they'll still be offering a very attractive incentive to the buyers. Selling your home in a buyer's market does not have to be difficult, as long as you're strategic about it. By pricing your home correctly, making needed repairs, and decluttering and depersonalizing your space, you can make your home more appealing to buyers. And if you really need an ace in the hole, offer the rate buy down. With these strategies, you'll be at an advantage and will be more likely to sell for the price that you want. All right, so in this video, we looked at four different strategies that sellers can utilize to get their home sold for maximum profit. If you're thinking of selling and you have any questions at all about the best strategy for your particular home in this market, feel free to reach out to me with any questions. I'm always happy to help. The only way I can do that though, is you have to reach out. Give me a call or a text or however you wanna get in touch and I'll be happy to provide to you my exclusive five point plan for getting your home sold. So now you're probably seeing some other videos pop up here. Click on any of those to learn everything you need to know about buying, selling, and living in San Francisco.